I went to Chicago Music Exchange to try out four guitars that I've been dying to play. For those of you that don't know, Chicago Music Exchange is one of the best music stores in the United States. It is in Lakeview in Chicago, Illinois, which is like the north side. I used to live down the street in a loft with seven other people, and we had one bathroom. It was disgusting. Whoa! But enough about me. Let's talk about these guitars. I only had about an hour inside the store, and I came in with my camera unannounced. I said, hey, can I film? They said, yeah, you're the second guy today. I'm like, oh, well, at least I'm original. Their policy at Chicago Music Exchange is anything you can touch, you can play. So you can just grab guitars off the rack, go inside one of their amp rooms, and play them, which is exactly what I did. I used the same amp for all these four guitars. It was a Tone King Sky King. The first guitar I tried is something I've been dying to try, a Fender Jazzmaster. I don't know anyone that actually owns an offset style guitar. In fact, there's only one YouTube channel that I know of that plays offset style guitars regularly. This guy, Pooishin. Probably saying it wrong, but I'm sure he'll forgive me. If you want to know anything about offsets, that's the channel to follow. So the guitar I tried is a Fender Player Jazzmaster in a CME exclusive Pacific Peach color. It's a beautiful color. It's even better looking in person. Look at this thing. Wow we. They did something interesting with the pickups and electronics. They did a four-way switch and got rid of the rhythm circuit, which is fine by me. It played beautifully. I loved the bridge pickup sound of this too. Um, usually it's kind of hard. You don't really love the bridge pickup in a single coil, but this one really was so cool. If there's any guitar I could have walked away with that day, this one. Um, the only thing I probably would change is I would get a mastery bridge. The mastery bridge would definitely improve the tone and the stability of all that little, where, 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 little, oh, sorry, what was my hand doing? That's so vulgar. Guitar number two, and a color that I normally would not go for, bright shell pink. <laughs> I was just feeling very fanciful this day. It's a Squire Classic Vibe 60s Jaguar. Immediately I could tell the difference in quality in a step downward, not a step all the way to the bottom floor, but certainly it's half the cost and it felt that. This would be a great project guitar. It's a really cool, interesting guitar. This would definitely be eighth or ninth down the line for guitars that I would get. Um, it doesn't really fit a sonic notch that I'm dying to get into, but it's an interesting idea, right? It's a short scale length, like the scale length of like a Gibson, and it's got two single coils with like the little teeth around it to protect from interference and humming. It's, it's a very unique sound, one because of the scale length and two because of the pickups are slightly different. If I got this guitar right now, I'd switch out the nut, bone nut, I'd switch out the pickups, um, and I'd switch out the bridge. So that would probably be 500, so that's another 500 bucks. So it'd put me like probably just over $1,000 now. Um, and if I really wanted that Jaguar, I think that it's, it's again, it's like the 10th guitar I would probably buy. And now for the best guitar that I've played in a long time is this Fender Custom Shop Chicago Special Stratocaster HSS. Oh my God, this thing felt amazing i wanted to steal it they would have caught me so i didn't um i had a lawler imperial low wound or low turn rather in the bridge the best sounding pickup i've ever played it sounds as good as my um 5708 that i have in my prs holy cow what a great sounding humbucker um if i had four thousand and four hundred dollars to spend would probably go to that might go to my mortgage it would probably go to that. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
I couldn't put this guitar down. I didn't want to leave without it. I felt bad putting it back in the rack. I was like, God, I had to console myself. I had to crawl into a little ball that night knowing that I wasn't going to hold that guitar again for a long time, perhaps ever. It was sad. Now, here's the other thing. I went from playing a Squire Classic vibe to a custom shop, so your hands are gonna know. But a quick note on pricing. Custom shop stuff, a lot of people say overpriced. I don't think so. It feels way better than an American. The, you know the pickups are better than an, an American professional. You know, I mean, you can obviously say it's better than a Squire. Is it 10 times the, the quality of a Squire? Yeah, yeah, I, absolutely. There's nothing you would need to change on it. Now, could you get close to that sound with an American professional? Yes. It's frustrating that nice things are expensive, but that doesn't mean that expensive things are not worth it. It might not be worth it for you. The difference between a custom shop and a Nash or a custom shop and a Sur, like now we're making a, an interesting argument. Sometimes you find this random rare guitar that like, oh, this weird made in Japan Squire that I found is the best sounding guitar I've ever played. I'm never leaving with it. It's gonna come with me to my funeral. They'll bury me with it and that'll be that. <laughs> And then the last, the sleeper, the surprise hit, I had also never played a Fender Thin Line with wide range humbuckers. Anyway, the Thin Line, great. Uh, it has like uh, Les Paul style wiring, right? Or tone volume, tone volume for each pickup. And it's just so cool. I had no idea how much I would like this guitar. The overdriven sounds on these wide range humbuckers is something I had not heard before. <laughs> That would be next, actually. Like an, an HSS Strat is a nice to have, don't necessarily need it. Thin Line Tele, I can see myself using that in a lot of different scenarios. I kind of have that with my Schecter here, but it's not, those aren't wide range humbuckers, those are Freyland unbuckers. Um, so uh, I really, now I want this guitar too. So how much is it? $4,600. And that could be all mine. Thank you so much to Chicago Music Exchange for letting me take up one of your practice rooms and play all your guitars and not buy anything except one bag of picks. I'm sure that's annoying, but I'm also sure you're used to it. Man, I'm gonna be dreaming about that custom shop HSS Strat, man. Very versatile. If you wanna hear about another versatile guitar, this PRS S2 Custom 24 35th Anniversary Edition. What a mouthful. Check it out. <laughs> 